The theory of prehistoric cosmic detonation is generally acknowledged by most researchers as the essential clarification for the starting points of the universe, enveloping the production of stars, planets, and all life in that, including us. Notwithstanding its fairly unconventional name, the term huge explosion appropriately captures the immensity of the event. At first, the universe was a dense assortment of particles pressed into a space more modest than a pinhead. From this minute point, an enormous blast of matter happened, known as the huge explosion. This concisely sums up the interaction that unfolded over billions of years. However, regardless of the persevering fame of the theory of how things came to be, progressions in logical information have progressively challenged its predictions. When NASA sent off the James Webb Space Telescope, the biggest and most advanced space observatory to date, researchers guessed that its perceptions would reinforce the theory of prehistoric cosmic detonation. Unfortunately, after only one year in space, the telescope has dumbfounded researchers with its momentous capacities, giving extraordinary looks into the universe's past. The James Webb Telescope's disclosures have revealed systems so old that they might actually reshape how we interpret the universe's origins. This unexpected disclosure has sparked intense interest among researchers and fans alike. One such noteworthy disclosure came when stargazer Rohan Natu, breaking down early pictures from the James Webb Telescope, coincidentally found a system that surprised everyone. This universe, named Glass Z13, seemed mysteriously gigantic and traced all the way back to only a short time after the enormous detonation, making it older than any previously noticed world. Nata's energy was tangible as he imparted the revelation to partners on the planet, depicting it as beyond anything astronomers could ever imagine. The James Webb Telescope, positioned far from natural impedance and furnished with state-of-the-art innovation, was intended to dive into the universe's earliest age, known as Grandio Sunrise. This period, covered in mystery, denotes the formation of the universe's most memorable stars and worlds. By examining systems from this period, researchers desired to refine how they interpret major inestimable cycles like the impact of matter and dark energy. Initial assumptions for the James Webb Telescope's discoveries were humble, expecting a couple of weak, far-off universes. However, the truth surpassed all projections. The telescope's pictures uncovered systems of amazing development, testing existing models and provoking a whirlwind of examination. As researchers keep on dissecting the James Webb Telescope's information, the ramifications of these revelations could be significant, introducing a new era of cosmological comprehension. The surprising disclosures from this noteworthy observatory offer a tempting look into the universe's past, driving humanity's journey to unravel the secrets of existence. As early systems materialized, scholars and spectators ended up in a scramble to make sense of them. Might this gathering of oddly enormous and bright early worlds ever be fanciful, perhaps due to flaws in the examination of the telescope's initial perceptions? Or, if authentic, might they ever somehow be accommodated with standard cosmological models? Quite possibly, were they the main means that the universe is stranger and more complex than our boldest speculations had assumed? In question isn't anything less than how we might interpret how the precise universe we know arose out of early-stage confusion. The early disclosures from the James Webb Space Telescope can possibly revise the initial parts of Grandio history. These sections concern far-off ages in distant systems, as well as our own presence here in the natural smooth manner. As Mark McCarran, a senior counsel for science and investigation at the European Space Office involved with JWST, commented, you build these machines not to affirm the worldview but to break it. You just don't have the foggiest idea how it will break. In a way, JWST perceptions of early universes have been billions of years truly taking shape. Nonetheless, more unobtrusively, they trace back to the Space Telescope Science Foundation in 1985. Around then, the Hubble Space Telescope was as yet five years from send-off. However, the establishment's then-chief, Ricardo Juan, requested that his group start contemplating what might come after Hubble a lot further away. Regardless of initial fights about zeroing in on Hubble, Juan was tenacious, predicting the extensive development process. Guy Linger, then deputy overseer of SD Sky, alongside a little group, began drafting thoughts for what in the end turned into the cutting-edge space telescope, later renamed JWST. They perceived that while Hubble would be groundbreaking, 
its capabilities would be restricted by its perceptions in noticeable light. The NGST, then again, would see in the infrared range, permitting it to enter further into the universe. The need for JWST turned out to be much more obvious in December 1995, when cosmologists directed the Hubble Deep Field Perception. In spite of assumptions for finding a couple of faint cosmic systems, the subsequent picture uncovered a huge number of worlds extending back more than 12 billion years into the universe's set of experiences. After over 20 years of improvement and at an expense of around $1 billion, JWST at long last sent off on Christmas Day 2021. The telescope went through thorough testing prior to arriving at its profound space objective a month after the fact. By July 2022, it was prepared to begin its hotly anticipated first year of science perceptions, known as Cycle 1. Some portion of JWST's initial mission was given to high-influence programs, including the Astronomical Evolution Early Release Science Survey and the GRIZ Focal Point Amplified Overview from Space. Both pointed toward revealing insight into the secrets of the early universe. As stargazers openly gave endless hours to scanning separate patches of the sky, looking for early universe cosmic systems, they at first expected modest discoveries similar to a more detailed variant of the Hubble Deep Field. In any case, they were in for a shock. Stephen Finlin from the College of Texas at Austin driving the SE project makes sense of that very far-off systems were supposed to arise solely after numerous information cycles from different projects. However, to cosmologists' wonder, these universes showed up very quickly. Previously, the record for the most far-off known system had a place with GNZ-11, seen in 2015 with a redshift of 11. Redshift estimates the expanding of light because of the universe's development, with a higher worth demonstrating more prominent distance. Yet, from the very beginning of glass perceptions, two separate groups, including one drove by Rohan Natu, freely recognized glass Z13 with a redshift of 13, driving the enormous timetable back significantly further. In their scramble for quick results, Specialists depended on worked on techniques for redshift assessment based on splendor estimations, as opposed to additional time series direct estimations. In spite of their effortlessness, these evaluations uncovered worlds unexpectedly brilliant and enormous, some previously flaunting a heavenly mass equaling a billion suns, much the same as our own smooth way, which is billions of years more experienced. The energy didn't stop there. In the resulting days, numerous universe competitors from soothsayers and glass emerged some with redshift gauges as high as 20, demonstrating they existed only a short time after the enormous detonation. These worlds showed circle-like designs not expected in such early astronomical ages. Furthermore, another group found proof of smooth waste systems at a redshift of 10, under 500 million years after the enormous detonation. Such fast rise of sizable universes challenges the expectations of the standard cosmological model, lambda cold dark matter. To grasp this oddity, a brief return to early universe elements is fundamental. In the underlying minutes after the enormous detonation, the universe was a hot, thick soup of early stage particles. Over the long haul, as the universe extended and cooled, helium and other light components formed, prompting the presence of the principal iotas around 400,000 years after the fact. Approximately 100 million years after the enormous detonation, Conditions became helpful for the development of the principal stars, made essentially out of hydrogen and helium. These early stars, bigger and more splendid than current stars, amassed into proto-worlds, directed by the gravitational draw of dim matter. However, JWST's revelation challenges this model, as it uncovers splendid, sizable cosmic systems far sooner than anticipated. Stacy McCor from Case Western Safe College noticed the startling shortfall of numerous more modest protogalactic parts, suggesting that some noticed systems might be nearer than assumed, hidden by dust seeming dimmer and more far off. The disclosure of the early worlds brings up significant issues about the universe's early stages, highlighting the need for continued investigation and amendment of our cosmological models. Follow-up perceptions of Glass C-13 in August 2022 by the Atacama Huge Millimeter Exhibit in Chile cast uncertainty on the underlying discoveries. Regardless of the utilization of brilliance-based estimations, ALMA didn't recognize critical measures of residue associated with Glass C-13. As P. Tom B. from Goya College, who drove the perceptions, suggests low redshift intruders can be excluded. 
However, Alma attempted to recognize the universe by any means. This highlights the test of affirming perceptions made utilizing JWST high capabilities. Rohan Natu, one of the specialists in question, brought up the incongruity of the circumstance, expressing, The uplifting news is there's nothing identified, he said. The terrible news is there's nothing identified. With only JWST fit for circling back to its own perceptions, the most frightening clarification could be that the standard LCDM cosmological model requires updating. Michael Bohan Cullen, a cosmologist, communicated the size of this potential change in outlook, stating, These outcomes are extremely astonishing and difficult to get in our standard model of cosmology. It would be a genuine insurgency to comprehend the quandary. One questionable proposition is to change Newtonian elements, which challenges the existence of dark matter. JWST perceptions could lend backing to MZ, proposed by Mark McCarran. However, not all cosmologists are persuaded of MZ's validity. Another conceivable explanation is that early universe worlds might have almost no residue, causing them to seem more splendid and influencing mass computations. The situation could likewise make sense of Alma's difficulty in recognizing Glass Z13. Charlotte Brickley and her associates proposed that JWST could be noticing the most splendid youthful systems in the early universe, which could suggest simpler star formation conditions during that age. David Spergel upholds this thought, proposing that high-mass star development could have been more proficient because of higher gas tensions and temperatures, conceivably influenced by early attraction fields. The quick dispersal of logical papers from JWST initial perceptions mirrors a shift towards ongoing companion surveys via stages like a 14 in virtual entertainment. While this speeds up the scattering of discoveries, there are worries about hurrying ends before intensive companion surveys. Notwithstanding alignment issues and potential recalibrations influencing a few outcomes, it's impossible that all high redshift cosmic systems saw by JWST will be nullified. All things considered, the sheer number of these worlds suggests that the early universe might be not the same as what was previously anticipated. Finn Lin communicated trust in the legitimacy of the disclosures, stating that the chances of cosmologists being altogether base are small. Presently, stargazers are hurrying to direct subsequent perceptions with JWST. Nancy Levinson is right now evaluating around 12 recommendations from different gatherings looking for extra JWST noticing time, for the most part, to examine high redshift cosmic system up-and-comers. Given the energy and meaning of these early disclosures, affirming them is vital. Try who presented one of the recommendations underscored the significance of affirming these discoveries. Different projects, like Cosmos Web Drove by Cartel T, are expected to expand the known populace of early systems by noticing a more extensive region of the sky for many hours. Fundamentally, they appraised that they might identify great many systems. Besides, extra undertakings will look for proof of the main proto-universes, conceivably utilizing the unstable passings of supersized first stars and radiant cosmic explosions as markers for their reality. A few evaluations suggest that JWST could notice cosmic systems to the extent of a redshift of 26, only 120 million years after the enormous detonation. Affirming even a small bunch of these high redshift up-and-comers would be a wonderful accomplishment. As indicated by Natu, showing that cosmologists are not being deluded by their perceptions, JWST has introduced another period of science. Regardless of the vulnerabilities, the rapid correspondence of new revelations has stimulated stargazers, who expressed energy about the association with an invigorated academic local area. Presently, the inquiry emerges. Is it now time to reconsider how we might interpret the very beginning artisan pond? The significant ramifications of looking into the unexplored world complete the data for now. Remember to show your support by liking, buying, and stirring things up around town for future episodes. Also, make certain to share your contemplations on the present substance. Your support inspires us to keep conveying quality content and to constantly take a stab at progress. Gratitude for watching and we'll see you sometime later.